What's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. So I do think that the last video I made on Remake didn't get a chance to really showcase the new abilities, textures, and so forth of all these new units. Uh, well, not new units, but new abilities, purely because of the lighting on the map. So today we're going to be starting this video off with looking at the shield abilities and everything that I kind of covered in the last video, but with just a little bit more lighting so you can see it a little bit better. And again, most units got a, well, a retexture, at least a good portion of them did. Especially, like, I think our Mediator got a retexture too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. But everything looks gorgeous, as always. Actually, I genuinely think this mod might have the best textures in the entirety of uh, Empire War. It's not even debatable. But in any case, so last time I showed off a brand new shield ability. Well, it's already, it's always existed. But this is our shield barrier ability. Uh, so basically, it creates an impenetrable barrier that's capable of reflecting all outside damage be it missiles, be it turbo lasers, etc. It's got a decently long cooldown time. The unit stops and it cannot be interrupted. I don't even think we can turn it off, can we? Oh yeah, we can turn it off. Okay, well, they don't be interrupted like that. But basically, this is what the ability looks like when it activates. It creates a very transparent and reflective shield around the unit. And actually, certain units within this are also fully protected. So it's not ideally just for that particular unit, but anything within this bubble, be it starfighters or vets or lighter vessels, will basically be protected by the shield, which is really, really cool. And then we we've got by, the new CD273 class Corellia Spellcaster. Obviously, this has been in the mod for a long time now, but it's now under the new classification of Spellcaster, which is basically a class of units that all have special abilities capable of messing with enemy systems or some other auxiliary ability. And it's also capable of, again, creating a huge shield barrier. You can see this thing covers portions of the Mediator, it can cover two cruisers pretty much. It's a very, very strong shield ability that just basically creates a defensive bubble. Now, again, other mods have implemented this before. There's the Justice class over in Awakening of the Rebellion. But I definitely do think that uh, this is one of the coolest additions of it in terms of just like the way the shield looks and it's going to play out overall. Um, I don't think we've seen one that's just capable of blocking damage strictly without the unit losing all of its shields. Like this is just a straight up defensive barrier. Um, and that goes the same for all the other ones too. They're just straight defensive barriers that actually reflect damage overall. So what I want to do today is do a little bit of a mock battle just to see how well these abilities kind of play out. We're also going to throw the Asserter in here, uh, a couple of other lighter vessels, and just have a nice little brawl. So let's get to that really quick, and I will be right back. Also wanted to mention, by the way, if you do not remember this character, he is from Rogue Squadron 3. Sarkley is officially a hero unit for the Empire. He commands the, one of the Storm Commando, like, Imperial escort carrier thingamabobs. It's basically one of these things that carries the TIE Hunters and stuff. You'll see it in a moment. We'll definitely break some of these in the battle as well. I believe this also got a new texture. And uh, again, Sarkley is a new hero unit, which is really, really cool. Okay, so I did an initial battle, but I put way too many units uh, on screen. This is a little bit lighter of a uh, fleet <laughs> compared to what I had at first. So we've got a variety of units here, including some Dreadnought Cruisers, strictly because I forgot to put them in with the Empire, and I want you guys to be able to see them. I think this is relatively fair-ish. We'll see in a minute, though. Let's go ahead and start cooking by starting this battle. I don't know what to expect out of this, but I, I do expect just lasers and cool shots. The Asserter's already activating its shield ability. You're going to go fight this. You're going to fight this. And then uh, I can actually select all of them. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get these guys going. Sarkley's in the play right now, too, which is going to be really cool to see the escort carriers kind of flying around. We'll assign the uh, Dreadnought Cruisers dealing with those, actually. And we've got a ton of fighters to play around with wild wings with their redirect power to shields ability now uh, which we don't we really ever see wild wings have abilities outside of iron cannon so that's pretty cool and then you're gonna do something i don't really care <laughs> all right all bombers let's head for the star destroyer we'll take out the smaller escort ships first okay this thing's going to go straight into it going to go straight in for the uh fight oh look at those tie defenders man Hey, wait, hold on. This is the perfect reason to activate this ability. Okay, the barrier's been activated. You can barely see it, but it is, in fact, activated. Okay. It looks like... I think they're, I think they're going to this little marker over here. That's why they're kind of just doing some weird little rotation. That's okay. Let's throw out this shield really quick. Let's mess with the enemy computers or whatever. 
Scrambler targeting. Beetles are out and just popping shots. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful work here. All right, so yeah, here's the new Dreadnought Cruiser model. Looks like everybody's just so caught up on trying to rotate to that point over there, you know? This ability is still... Oh, just stop. Never mind. Okay. That's a big ship, man. Shields are almost gone on it, though. And then this has a detected exploit weakness. It increases the damage taken by affected units for by 25% for 30 seconds. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's meant to be on the um, stream of the line, like MC uh, Independence class. I don't know what word I'm trying to use right now. Here are the new Dread Dreadnought Cruiser model, though. Using those Clone Wars era blue turbo lasers of the Republic era blue turbo lasers. They look gorgeous. They look really, really good. Cool. Wow. <laughs> You can see the Imperial Escort carriers just popping their little torpedoes off. And they have the same locomotion as like the Curly Corvettes or the DP-20s. So it looks really, really cool. I'm just going to rotate around, do some spinning. Pop some shots off. Maybe we destroy the shields in this. We have. Excellent. Let's get the fighters over here. Try to guard this position if you can. CD-173. All right, let's rotate you guys over here a little bit. You guys over here a little bit. Then you over here. Let's try to put as much pressure as we can on the field. Let's throw up our defensive barrier here. To showcase it a little bit more in battle. You can see how much area that covers. And look at that. Look at that. It's literally just a direct barrier. You can see the shots that are trying to, like get through to the other cruisers just being completely blocked by this giant shield ability i don't know if that's going to be broken and then like in terms of like overpowered but it might be now, let's keep it real for a hot second that's an extremely powerful ability you just throw up a blockade that basically prevents all damage to your other units but it's a great way to have specialized units that reminds me of stuff in like a uh, starcraft i want to say where you have specialized units that are legitimately tailored to doing very very specific things so i think that's a cool ability Although this is getting a little chaotic, I'm not going to lie to you. Holy cow. There's explosions everywhere. Let's move you over here a little bit. But yeah, once these guys you lose that ability or use it all up, I mean, um, they don't really have too much going for them in the moment. Aside from their uh, targeting computer disabilities. Which is insane to me. To be honest, this unit has so much utility now, it's not even funny. Like, it generally might turn out to be the best unit in the game. As far as I'm concerned. Up until sh units can get past the shield anyway, you know? But in the meantime, it basically playing like a big old blockading role will be crazy. Then we got our independence class over here, our home one type or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just doing its little drive-by. What's cool is a lot of the explosions no longer blind you to. Look at this. Look at this. Well, that, that's screenshot worthy. That there isn't like a big ball of like white fire that will blind you anymore. And it's safe to assume that we may or may not have the advantage here. Okay, but what the hell is actually happening right now? You know what? You know what? We'll let the cinematic cam just kind of play it out. I don't like that the Thai uh, hunters lock their s foals like this because then they just don't look like Thai hunters anymore. It doesn't really matter what position they would lock him in. I just hate the locking mechanics sometimes because units just don't know how to unlock themselves. Tie phantoms on the field too. I don't even know what's happening. There's so many explosions. Oh, oh, oh! This is that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those X-wings. Oh, this is that good stuff right here. <laughs> uh, there's nothing better than just watching explosions go crazy. Watching all these unit abilities. I think the asserter just threw up a shield ability, which, by the way, can be fully activated, even when the shields are not up, which is a little insane. Actually, I didn't even realize that. But if you don't have shields going. You can just activate the ability anyway, for fun. Came over. Darkly is still flying about and doing his thing. Let's see if we can get some good shots of him. He's kind of uh, rotating around. He's got some point defense lasers. He's doing his thing. But I mean, I, I, I really don't know what the full purpose of this unit class is going to be. I need to actually like read over the abilities a little bit more. In. Their roles. I think we did outnumber them just a tiny bit, but it was still cool to see the abilities going crazy, so... But yeah, this is a very well-rounded fleet. Like, a very, very well-rounded fleet. We've got drones out fixing our starfighters. We've got literally impregnable barriers blockading all laser fire, missile fire, you name it. 
a very, very huge radius. So I do predict that this unit, I don't like you saying meta necessarily, but I do predict that it's going to be, um, hell is this? Okay. I do predict it's going to be insane. And just like that, we cleaned up the battlefield pretty easily. Escort carriers are still going crazy. We're going to redirect all of our starfighters and our DP-20s that lived somehow. Got to deal with Sarkley. Oh, dude, this is just insane. All right, Sarkley is gone. All right, everybody. Well, that's pretty much the battle that I wanted to showcase. If you want to see this unit more in action against certain unit types, uh, let me know. I mean, I think this is probably going to be the best unit for the Rebellion moving forward, without a doubt. Strictly because of just how powerful that shield ability is. It literally blocks all damage. It makes it impossible to, well, to get through certain areas up until you get through the shield anyway. So if you want to really deal with this thing, you got to move into the shield, which is a little crazy. <laughs> for being completely honest here but overall i'm a big fan of the unit i'm a big fan of the new abilities the new changes the new looks to what we're added and when we do eventually get a huge galactic conquest mode for remake I'll definitely be one of the first people on youtube to make a video on it i think this is really cool and i'm basically out of really niche things to say so hey thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like or to subscribe to the channel for more gaming content and as always this has been jay the gamer i hope you have a great day may the force be with you all peace